let me tell you how trifling some of these companies are. Let me show y'all where I'm at. This is where I'm at, right? Yup. Please don't come here I'm not using my name because I don't get paid for it anyway. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. We've learned Earth's languages through the World Wide Web. There you have it, everybody. There you have it, right? Good old keeping it 100. Back again with another video. Unfortunately, the company gave her four hours to get up out of the truck. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Let me tell you how trifling some of these companies are. Let me show y'all where I'm at. This is where I'm at, right? Yup. Please don't come here. I'm not using my name because I don't get paid for it anyway. They claim they fix it, and then it's not fixed. And almost every week, I'm sitting at this yard for a whole day, sometimes a day and a half. But yet, when it's my turn to want to sit for a day, for my reasons, I thought there was a certain way that you run business. And the way that he's talking to people that almost can be kind of considered biased or discriminatory. I thought there was a certain way and certain things that you can say to people at a workplace. So because you upset that I said I wanted to wait a little later to run my next mold, now you feel like you can talk to me like I'm one of your children and insult, no insults in the midst of the conversation. And now that you got both of us heated, and I said, let me put in my two weeks notice. My last day will be September 1st. Now you're going up there lying to the, the people saying that I'm refusing loads, I'm, I'm being difficult, and I'm doing this making me look bad. She said because of reasons that she got into a small disagreement with her fleet manager and the fleet manager decided to come back at her at a different tone, I guess. So I can imagine how some of these companies are, you know, they tell you to bring their truck. Mind you, that's their truck now. They tell you to bring it to the yard so they can look at it, so they can fist it or whatever the case. But they always tell you to bring their truck back to the yard for alternative motives as well. So, of course, they had her sitting for a while with the guise of, you know, the truck might need to be repaired. So... I guess she felt that, hey, for my next load, let me, you know, get it later on. So maybe I could do some, you know, get some me time, get some rest, whatever the case that she decided to, you know, want to take the load. Well, her fleet manager felt, uh-uh, nah, nah, if I want you to ride out, I need you to ride out now. You still got time. Let me stop the show. Time, right? When you still got time on that clock, that clock is there. So I always told you guys about that clock, right? I told you, I said, when you got time, if you got like five, six, four hours, and they got a load ready for you to pick up and roll out, they want you to pick it up and roll out. Let me break it down. These companies don't care about you. It doesn't matter if you put in the work, it doesn't matter that if you was loyal, it doesn't matter. When the company or the fleet manager, when you lose that camaraderie between you and the fleet manager, then your time at that company is gonna be the worst time. Basically, they're saying I have to find my way home. Look at all this stuff, bro. I got a whole truck full of my personal belongings full of my personal belongings. And now, they can cut these trucks off. I can't drive this truck nowhere. It's their truck. 
See, guys, I let new drivers listen. Let me tell you something. When, when the company tells you to bounce, they don't care how you get home. They don't care if you got the kitchen sink in your truck. I've been telling you this for years. Remember, re remember years ago, I, I myself was told that I had 24 hours to get up out the truck. And I showed you guys that I had a gang of shit in my truck. Go back and watch that video. Don't, don't need to go into details about it. When they tell you to get up out their truck, they want you up out their truck. They don't care if you got the kitchen sink or whatever. They want that truck cleaned out and you out of there. Now, I don't know if that particular company, from what I understand, the company have to get you home. When I got terminated, they gave me a bus ticket. Uh, when a couple of other people got terminated or they decided to leave, I think the company gave them a bus ticket as well. I don't know. I, I can tell you they're not going to get you no rental car. They're not going to get you no Uber. They're not going to get you no plane. They're going to send your butt back home the cheapest way possible. And the cheapest way possible is that Greyhound. Now, mind you, you live thousands of miles away with a whole bunch of stuff on your truck. You know you ain't going to be able to pack all that stuff on a Greyhound. So you're going to have to leave it there. You're going to have to leave it there. They're going to they, they only going to store it for like 30 days. And if you don't come back for it, they're going to give it away or they're going to throw it away. So your only resort is to get a rental. But you know the company ain't going to get a rental, so you are responsible for it. Normally have a van where you can sign the van out and go to the stores or go to Walmart and go this and that. I can't even use the van. And there are no Ubers around here. So I'm stuck. No Ubers. Can't use the van. They ain't going to let you use the van because you're, you're, you're not an employee anymore. Why would, you, why would they do that? They want you gone they want you off the property they're going to give you the minimum amount to get up and get out that's it however you get to the airport however you get to the greyhound however you get to where you need to go to get to get gone that's the minimum amount that they're going to give you to get gone so of course you're upset i get it i was upset when i i thought i didn't have options come to find out that i did but new drivers this is what i keep telling you now don't get me wrong keeping it 100 is not a new driver she's been out in this game for years you know this ain't her first rodeo <laughs> with a company i had the pleasure of having keeping it 100 on the channel we talked shop on the many many companies that she have driven for and for some odd reason has left. So this ain't the first company. This ain't her first rodeo. But you would tend to think that with all the experience, especially for me, with all the experience that I have garnered, I tend to know what to expect when it comes time to leave a company or that company have or that company forced you to leave and that's why i keep coming back to you new drivers to tell you about hey don't pack up the truck don't bring everything in the truck if you're a company driver i do not understand the reason why you bring a tv why you install a tv i can understand installing a small monitor because i have one I got like a little 15 inch, but that's to my computer. But that's about it. Something small, something compact. You don't need a 32 inch, 42 inch TV. You don't need that. You don't need that. Why? You don't need that. 
Now, if the company provides you with a refrigerator, awesome, awesome. But sometimes they don't provide you with a refrigerator and you want to go and get your own. I get that. Small, compact refrigerator, cool, check. You want to get yourself a, a microwave, cool, check. But everything else that you pack in the truck, Honestly, you really don't need, especially if you're a company driver. I said it once, I'll say it again. I'm about to say it right now. Go bag. That's where you keep all your clothes in, you know, a little bag for, you know, washables and stuff like that. Backpack, all the essentials that you need for uh, doing the job, your computer, your tablet, phone, keys, uh, uh, pencils, pens, all that. And last but not least, a hygiene bag. Sumatran beans. And I also have to give credit to the ground. Thank you, Mr. Wayne. Walt, please call me Walt. Where the hell are we making math? Couple of pairs of underwear, soap, hygiene products. You know how you women do it. Your women comes with the bathroom. So have a little bag for your bathroom that's it three essential bags that you need to bring with you especially if you're a company otr driver now if you're a regional driver you tend to be home a little bit more frequent than you would while you're out here on the road company driver that's what you need now owner operator lease operator that's something different because you're buying the truck the truck will probably be yours and then you can outfit the truck the way you want to outfit it because the truck is yours company tells you to leave you bounce truck coming with you that's not going to be uh so much so for a company driver company tells you to leave the truck ain't going nowhere truck is staying right there where they want you to put at. I mean, where they want that truck is at. So, of course, they're not going to give you the ability to drive the truck. They're not going to give you the ability to, to drive their car. It's your responsibility. To, to, the company don't have nothing else to do with you. They cut all ties with you. These companies are ruthless. These companies are savage. These companies would, would give you everything you need to come to the company. If everything is good and you're not a liability, they're gonna treat you like semi-royalty. They're gonna tell you, hey, bring everybody on over here, let people know that this is the best company because that's what, that's what you do when you get to a new company. And they'll give you a little bit of change for it. After all the nice videos that I made speaking good about Schuster, you treating me like this? But I tell you, as soon as that relationship between you and the fleet manager, you and the company severs, it's over. It's over. Your time with that company is going to be limited. Limited. Don't take no advice from me. Don't take no advice from keeping it 100. Just do your own research and just know that it's a contract between you and the company you sign the contract to work for that company to drive for that company they sign the contract to pay you basically that's what it all boils down to a lot of you guys have a bad habit of bragging and boasting and 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 saying that you love the company it's it's it, it stop doing that stop doing that because the companies don't love you they tell you we treat you like family nah let that relationship sour and then that and, and that treat you like family goes right out the window find you a company that you can at least get along with see if you can get along with the with the uh the what do you call it uh the fleet manager god damn it see if you can get along with the fleet manager all right if you can get along with the fleet manager and you and that fleet manager have a good camaraderie with each other then the time with that company is going to be great time with that company is going to be good he's going to make sure that you keep running and you're going to make sure that you're going to keep delivering 
But then when you get into situations where uh, you 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 have a back and forth with your fleet manager, let's say for example you get a blowout on the side of the road. Smashing basil. God. Me, that tire needs to go too. I mean, this is whole life. I've been sitting on the side of the road for fucking seven hours. That you can limp down there for me right quick and get it looked at? Sure, why not? Why not? Okay, no problem. Or I could turn around and be, I, I could turn around and be like, nah, uh, I'd rather for uh, roadside assistance to come to me and you know change the tire maybe that situation build up maybe maybe other situations had build up maybe it just came to a boiling point with the fleet manager and he'd just turn around and pop his lid on you because now you're a liability now it's time for you to go yeah we 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 could sever ties with this one sir here. How am I supposed to go and set myself up to get home and y'all basically treat me like I didn't just sacrifice and work hard for this company? They don't care. They got 20 million other drivers that does the same thing. Work hard and sacrifice. I mean, that's, that's what we do, right? We work hard and sacrifice, right? And we we don't get rewarded for that maybe we work hard and we sacrifice and we show a little bit of loyalty but again like i said drivers new drivers when that relationship between you and that fleet manager the time with that company is is it's not going to be all that good and when you let them know that you about ready to quit. And I said, let me put in my two weeks notice. My last day will be September 1st. Oh, that's the magic words. That's why a lot of people say, hey, we don't give two week notice. That's the magic word. When you say, hey, um, I'm about to get my two weeks notice. My last day going to be such and such. Oh. Oh, don't worry about it. You already at the you you already at the terminal. Psh, bye. But wait a minute. I uh, bye. Well, what? Whoa, wait, wait, wait. I'm I'm still giving you guys my two weeks notice. I, I at least want to get uh a check. No, bye. Bye. You already want to quit, sir, ma'am. You you already want to quit. You already at the at the terminal. Just clean out your truck and we're done. We're done. See, that's why I I say this. Never let the company know your next move, especially if you feel some type of way about that company. Oh oh oh! You gonna tell me the reason you lost every goddamn cent I got in the hey, world? Hey man! You gonna tell me reasons? You better. Let me tell you the reason. The reason is yo ain't worth the well, no you, more. You better back off. This is what you do: clean out the truck, and then when you come back out there, and you can you can say, hey, uh, you know, I want to get my two weeks notice. Oh, well, you already at the terminal. Bye. You don't have to worry about cleaning out nothing because you already did it on your home time. See, when you get the opportunity to go home first and clean out your truck, then getting back home shouldn't be an issue. All you have to do is just hop right in the car and go. And another thing too, drivers, before I get up uh, out of here, you know, new drivers, listen, I, if you're new coming in, I understand it's all about, uh, it's all about your experience and I get it. You know, you probably go to a company, you want to get your experience in and all like that. But once you get that experience, once you get that knowledge, then the next companies that you should try out for should be companies that's maybe a little bit more closer to home. 
if you live in a populated area like uh like texas uh populated area what, what's another good trucking area chicago uh what's another trucking a good trucking area um What, what's another one? Uh, come on, come on. Georgia. Okay. Those are good trucking areas, especially if you live out of those, if you live out of those states or even live close to it, try to find a company that's a little bit more closer to home and you wouldn't have to worry about not being able to get home. So I'm talking about uh, uh, keeping it 100. She, what she did, she did it part of the way right. She already, she made sure that she had money. She made sure she had a credit card and she made sure that she could get home, you know, and get all her stuff. What she didn't do is she didn't consider, first of all, you go in there telling these people or threatening these people about, I put in my two weeks notice and you didn't stop to think that one, I'm a black woman, okay? So I'm black and I'm a woman and I'm in Iowa and I'm in the middle of bumfuck Egypt and these people done done this before. You ain't the first person. So when you went in there talking to them like that, what they said to themselves was, let us show you how we have done other people and see how you work your way out of this jam. So they said, bye. Now, what you gonna do now? She didn't leave herself hanging completely high and dry, but she sure stuck herself out there on the line. Big G's got it locked, boy. Want you to let me all night, yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet, yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G, and yeah, don't make a sound. And I want you to miss me when I'm not around. Come dive in my ocean, for my push. My love is like lotion. It's all over you. You all over me, cause you my little boo. How many times I gotta tell you,